here week in and week out to wake up Jake and give him back his power, turn it back into Israel, wake up Eve and turn it back into the daughter of Sarah, right? And we, we try to hasten the time, we're trying to bring our people back to the covenant. Therefore, so we should take the kingdom, right? As the brother was mightily saying to the other brother, they saying he don't want to rule over nobody. The thing is, when we take the kingdom, we shall rule them with a rod of iron. That's part of the that's part of the uh, the reward, right? Who wouldn't want to do that? Well, let's start off with this. It's the book of Col uh, Colossians, chapter three and verse seventeen. Bring it up. And whatsoever ye do in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Giving thanks to God and to the Father by Him. So everything we do, we're supposed to do in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem or Mashiach, woman like Yahweh Shah. Right? In our word or in our deeds. That means the way we walk is supposed to represent the Most High. The way we talk is supposed to represent the Most High. Right? Bring this out, King. Second Corinthians. ambassadors of Christ, uh -huh. as though God did beseech you by us, uh -huh. we pray for you in Christ instead. Be ye reconciled to God. Okay, so we are the ambassadors of the, of the Most High. We represent His power, we are signed by His power to, to teach that power to bring our people back to the Most High, right? And this is the job that we got to take very seriously because we, we stumble and our word and our deed, we could do this. Bring this out. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 18 and verse 6. Bring it out. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones. It says, whosoever shall offend one of these little ones. So that's why we gotta we gotta walk and represent the most high in our word or in our deed, right? What would be the um, punishment? Which believe in me, uh -huh. it were better for him that a milestone were hanged about his neck. A millstone. Salakia. It would be better for him that a millstone were hung about his neck uh -huh. and that were drawn in the depths of the sea. Huh. So the Most High said you offend one of the little ones in his name. He he said it's better for you to tie a, a big ass rock or a boulder around your neck right. and toss yourself into the Pacific. Right. right. So when you represent the Most High in word or in deed and you're an ambassador of Christ, you got to make sure you represent him, represent him properly. How you doing, brother? You believe in God? Huh? So that's Jake. That's Jake, right? Give me um. Give me uh. I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna have you read it. Give me uh. Second edges, fifteen. Start from the top. Second I'm gonna have you. What's the reset? All right. So give me um. Psalm eighty-nine and thirty-four. Uh. Bring it out. Bring it out. the book of second Andrew, chapter 15 verse 1 no. behold speak thou in the ears of my people uh -huh. the words of prophecy the, what? the, the words, words of, of prophecy. prophecy so the most high say speak ye in the ears of my people the words of prophecy right why because everything that's prophesied in the bible is going to come true ain't that's right brother you believe in god you know which i will put in thy mouth which what which i will put in thy mouth no nah, it's by the, it's by men which I will put in thy mouth. Nah, it's just by niggas that wrote it. Which I will put in thy mouth. So this is the word of God, right? Go ahead. Says the Lord. Says who? Says the Lord. Right, give me this. Give me um, Psalms, Psalms 89 and 34. 34. Right, because this, this is the covenant that the Most High made. My covenant will I not break, uh -huh. nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. So the Most High say the things that I spoke in this Bible, Right? That I, that, I, that I put on the holy men of God and moved them as the Spirit gave utterance and they wrote it down, they jotted it down. He said these things will not alter. They will not fail. They will not falter. Give me Isaiah 34 and 16. Right? Hold up. Hold up. Isaiah 34, verse 16. 
Speak ye out of the book of the Lord. What? Speak ye out of the book of the Lord. And read. And what? And read. So this is what the brother was trying to tell the other dude. He said, you got, in order to get the knowledge, you got to read, right? Hey, brother, you got two minutes in the words of the Lord? You believe in God? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Uh -huh. No one of these shall fall. No one of these prophecies that's in this book shall fail. That's right. Right? What it says in Deuteronomy. He say, if a prophet prophesy, right, and it don't come to pass, you ain't gotta worry about that man. He said, but you will know that that prophet came from me. If what? If it came to pass. So when he said to Isaiah, none of these shall fail, this is the word of the Lord. He said, no, none of the things that went out of my mouth shall come back and return back to me void, right? Read. Flock him. For her mate. So not, for none shall be her mate. For none shall fail this mate. Yeah. None shall want her mate. Uh -huh. For my mouth is has, it has commanded. Uh -huh. And his lips and his spirit it had gathered them. That means that the Lord, whatever the Lord spoke, it's gonna come to pass. How you doing, Elder? You believe in God? Sure do. You got two minutes in the words, Lord? Just two minutes. No, 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 no. Are you, you, gonna pull, you gonna pull it from the word of the Lord? He the pastor, he already know the word. Thank you. Right. He the pastor? Yes, he is. Man. All right, all right, so let me ask you a question. Not to take. I'm not doing and the, the Bible says what? Be always ready to have a godly discord. Madness. Man, but he's but he's a pastor. But she's walking around in pants. Nobody has on fringes. And they buying. And they buying and selling on the Shabbat. But he's the pastor. This is why people are destroyed right. for the lack of knowledge that my brother brought out. Right? Why? Because they reject knowledge. What is the knowledge? The commandments of the Lord. Right. Right. right? And he's the pastor. He's walking with his whole family, buying and selling on the Sabbath. This is utter madness. That's right. But he's the pastor. And then she's pulling the man away. She's like, uh-uh, mm-mm, mm-mm. But he's the pastor. I, th I thought the man supposed to rule the household. Right? Gone. And the woman le learned in subjection. Right? This is madness, bro. Bring this out, Revelations. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is what? Blessed is he, he that, that readeth. Read so this is one of the blessings. Blessed is the man that readeth. Right? Why? Because our people are known for not reading. So the Lord said, blessed is the man that reads. Brother, you good? You believe in God? You got two minutes in the words of the Lord? Then it cheer up your counselors, King. I guarantee you I got some good news for you. All right. Come on, brother. Man. That's, that's why this place got to be destroyed. That's right. Our brothers walk around in a Lord countenance. But he's a king on the earth. Look at him, he's walking moping. Literally, in a wide open space. Hey family, y'all got two minutes in the words of the Lord. Y'all believe in God? Amen. You got two minutes in the words, sister? Man, read that again, King. There's the book of Revelation, chapter one and verse three. Bring it out. Blessed is he that read it. What? Blessed is he that read it. Read on. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. Uh -huh. And keep those things. And do which, what? And, and keep, keep those, those things. things. And do what? And, and keep, keep those, those things. things. Just hear them. And, and keep, keep those, those things. things. Go ahead. Which are written therein. Uh huh. So it's blessed is the man that hear these things and keep them. That's what the law, statutes, and commandments. Everything That's goes right. back to the law, statutes, and commandments with the Most High. Because how He said it in Psalms, these things has went out my mouth, and none of them I shall alter. Right? That's it on that. No. For the time is at hand. For what? For, For the, the time, time is, is at hand. hand. And we can see that. That's this right. kingdom on the fall. Right? I wish the brother would have stayed. I had Daniel 7 and 18 right up. Hey, brother, you believe in God? Brother. You believe in God, King? Yeah. You got two minutes in the verse of the Lord? You said what, sir? I said you got two minutes in the verse of the Lord? All right, get that. Right. So let me ask you a question real quick. <laughs> According to the Bible, what would be your nationality? Oh, to the Bible? I don't know. You don't know, right? Nah, but, uh, shit. I say, I say I'm from Kemet, though. Kemet? Yeah. Is that what you do? Yeah. All right, so let me show you something. You're a so-called African-American? Nah, Afro. Afro-American? Yeah. Oh, All right, so you know, you know what the term Afro is, right? Afro is a half-style. Yeah. So it's, it's impossible, brother, for you to be a half-style. 
You know what I'm saying? So these terms was placed on us for a certain reason to confuse us. You know what I'm saying? To keep us from our, our biblical nationality, right? Give me um, give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3, right? Cause terms is placed on us, right? By our oppressors. The same people that, that took us from the western shores of Africa, brought us over here and enslaved us, and beat what they wanted us to have in us, right? They told you you was an Afro-American. Then, 20 years later, they switched and said you're an African-American. Before that, you was a Negro. Then you was a Negro, right? What was we when we first came off the ship? Off the ship? They didn't call you an African because they knew it was a distinction between the African and you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it up. The ox know his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. So an ox, all he do all day long is sit and eat grass, right? And a donkey don't do nothing but carry a load. So the Lord is comparing some of people to two dumbass animals. You understand? Right? Read it again. The ox know of his owner. Uh-huh, but the ox know who feeds him and take care of him. Go ahead. And the ass, his master's crib. And the ass know how to find his way home. If you drop him off 10 miles down the road, by the end of the day, he'll be back home. Right? But Israel. But who? But Israel. But who? But Israel. But Israel. Do not know. My people do not consider. And the Lord said his people don't even give a damn who they really are. You understand? Read this. Because this is what happened to us. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4 Bring it out. Oh. And thou even thyself shall be shall discontinue from thine heritage Brother, so what's the word discontinue mean? Yeah. Huh? To be cut off, right? So the Lord say a certain people gonna be discontinued A certain people gonna be discontinued from their heritage When you look at anybody on earth who was discontinued from their heritage? Huh? White people? White people? You know, you know, you know why they call themselves Caucasians? Cause they know they come from the Caucasus Mountains. So they know their 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 heritage. They know their lineage. You understand? They know they they, they know all these things. But he said a group of people gonna gonna be cut off from their heritage. We don't even know where we come from, right? We don't know what language we spoke. We speak English. That is a white man's language, right? You got the Jamaicans who speak what? Patois? Patois, Patois yeah. right? Which is another form of English, right? right? You got the, the Haitians, they speak Creole, which is broken down French, right? So all these, all, all these, all our people, they speak a white man's language. You know what I'm saying? Because we would discontinue from our heritage, right? Read that again. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shall be discontinued from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to res to serve thine enemies uh -huh. in the land which thou knowest not. Now, when our people came here, he said, he said, I'm going to cause you to discontinue from your heritage and serve thine enemies in a land where you knew you, you knew not, not or where you didn't know, right? So when we got, when we came over here in them slave ships, you think our people knew this land? No. So who is this talking about? Let's talk about us. And I'm gonna further prove it though, right? Finish up. So yeah, for, yeah. for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger. So how do we make the most high mad? He said, he said, I'm gonna do these things to you because you pissed me off. Do you know? Right? This this is why the Lord, this is why the Lord has men out here like now recently, because this kingdom is on the fall. And we're here to seal the elect. Once a certain number of people is, is fulfilled, the Lord shall destroy this place. You get what I'm saying? Hopefully you Man. Hopefully you're in that number, brother. Right? We're trying to bring you back to the covenant. Right? So give me, I'm for the I'm for the prove without a shadow of doubt we are these people. Alright? Give me Deuteronomy 101. There's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it up. These be the words which Moses Speak unto all Israel. To who? Unto, unto all Israel. Israel. To who? Unto, unto all Israel. Israel. Who is Moses speaking to, brother? Israel, right? You know, you know the story of Moses? Something like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did Moses do? A lot. I don't know a lot, but yeah. He got a famous quote. Hello. He said, let Hello. my, let my people go. 
He was talking to Pharaoh. You understand? The so-called Kemet. So this is showing you this distinction between the Israelites and Egyptians, or the so-called Kemet. That's why I said, brother, you can't be Kemet. You understand? So he said, this is, this is the words that Moses made with the, all the children of Israel, right? Go to 28. So I'm going to read this to you, right? 28, 15? Yeah. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it up. But it should come to pass, uh -huh. if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day. Then what? That all these curses. Then what? That all, all these, these curses. curses. Brother, curses are good or bad thing? It's going to be good. It's going to be good. All right, so like, if I said, brother, I got blessings for you or I got curses for you. Huh? I'll take that blessing. Yeah, we, we all will take that blessing, right? I'll take that blessing. Yeah. So the cursing, this predicament is a bad thing, right? Read. That all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Read. Curse shall not be in the city. What did the Lord say? Curse, Curse shall not be in the city. city. Now, anywhere you go, no matter what state it is, who's cursed in the cities? Who lives in the lowest of problems? Who lives in the slums to get them? Who has these people oppressing us daily? He said, Curse shall not be in the city. And curse shall not be in the field. And what? And curse shall not be in the field. He said, And curse shall you be in the field. You heard me? So part of the curse was curse, you're going to be in the city. I mean, curse shall you be in the city. And curse shall you be in the field. What field is he talking about? The sugar cane field, the cotton field. The tobacco field, right? Oh, right? That's right. In the gold mines. He said, you're going to be cursing these plots, right? Waking up, sun up, the sun down. You getting your back beat in. You got to pick a bundle of cotton. And if you don't bring enough, master going to have his way with you. You understand? These are curses that the most High placed upon our people, right? Jump to 30. Verse 30. Thou shalt be betrothed a wife. Uh-huh. And another man shall lie with her. Now this is twofold, right? Because if we didn't keep these laws, that's the commandments. He said you you should betroth the wife, which means you can be promised to a woman, right? If the master wanted you, the one wanted your wife, right? What could you do to stop it? You couldn't do nothing. It say you should betroth the wife, and the man shall lay with her, right? It say and the man shall lie with her, right? Now. Also, when we, don't, when we don't keep these commandments, your brother, you got to worry about your brother sleeping with your real, right? You always got to worry about the next man trying to get in where he fit in, right? That's a curse. Thou shalt build a house, uh -huh. and thou shalt not dwell therein. And this is multiple. Our people, Issachar build these buildings. The Mexicans, right? But do they stand them? Our people, I see, I see um, so-called niggas working up the, on these buildings. Do we stand these high rises? White House. Huh? The White House. Huh? We built that. Do we stand that? No. Uh, because even when you look at Obama, he's a how much? He's a so-called Kemet man. You understand? Right? Give me 37. Verse 37. Uh-huh. And thou shall become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb. And they fight work. So the Lord said, you're going to become an astonishment. You know what astonishment is? You are an amazing sight. They say, yo, we done broke these niggas so bad, we got them calling them black. And we could clearly see that we're not black. You understand? We got them calling their names two white men. Amerigo Vespucci and Leo Scipio Africanus. African American. Right? You, you have become an astonishment. You're an amazing sight to him. And he said you're going to become a proverb. What is a, a proverb? It's a smart saying. If you want to hide stuff from a nigga, put it well. Put it in the book. These are proverbs. All niggas like chicken. All niggas like watermelon. An elevator can raise a family, but a black man can't. These are proverbs that they, they say to our people. Right? And, and a byword. And a byword. And a byword. A byword is anything that you're going by outside of your God-given nationality. Right? That's why I asked you when, when you came up here, I say, what do you know? Do you know your biblical nationality? If not, you're just walking around calling yourself a byword. These are terms that they literally placed upon us. 
You get what I'm saying? I got to go, man. Thank you, though. I'm an Israelite. I, I said, Kimmy, go now. Fuck that. I'm an Israelite. Hey, straight. Right. There you go. Oh, come on. Come on. Take a flyer. Take a flyer, Kimmy. I'm crazy. I'm blessed, man. Let me show you the last curse, though, real quick. Give me the last curse. This is the nail in the coffin right here. And this is how you know who we are for real. Right? God bless me, Jesus. Give me that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Bring it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, I would tell you that Moses delivered them from Egypt. So this, this whole thing is happening right after they left Egypt. Right? Say, say, um, hold, hold, your, hold, hold your kicks down, you might get deep old. What am I saying? Somebody might steal yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Because we know what Debo is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when the Lord said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again, they were serving hard bondage in Egypt. They were slaves in Egypt. What did the Lord tell them? What did the Lord tell them? It's, it's, it's slang talk. Like I just said, hold your kick down, somebody might Debo you. Because they literally just left out of Egypt. So he said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt. He's telling them, I'm going to bring your ass back into slavery again. Or I'm going to bring you back into the house of bondage, right? Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Uh huh. How do we get over here? What Ships. form of transportation? Ships. Ships, right? Yeah. Let's hear it out of the Bible. Read it again. What? Down from the top. Yeah, from the top. Let's and go. the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. I'm gonna bring you back into slavery again. With ships. With what? With, With ships. ships. With what? With, With ships. ships. Read. By the way whereof I spank unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Uh huh. And there. He shall be sold Look, unto your enemies. He said, when you get there, you're going to be sold unto your enemies. What is what that function say right now? It say to sell. It say to sell. Negroes. Huh? Who? Oh, Caesar. Caesar. Oh, Caesar. Oh, Caesar. Yeah, now I'm talking about the um the sale sign. It says Negroes for sale. But but that's, that. Look into that flyer, King. All right? Yeah. Oh, praise him. You ain't have, we have to finish that. He's like, man, fuck Kimmy. <laughs> hey, brother, you believe in God? Yeah. I see how you see it. That's Levi, huh? That's what I said. Jesus, 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 Jesus for life. Vin Pimbalo, Vin Pimbalo. Jesus, 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 <laughs> he tried to jump in there. <laughs> go on, go back to the second exit. Yeah. Second, second exit? Yeah, second exit. Right? Give me Acts 4 and 29. Read 3. Start at 2 and read the 3. Uh, 15, 15 and 2, right? Yeah. Then the book of second Andrews, chapter 15 and verse 2. Bring it out. And cause them to be written in paper. And cause what? And cause them to be written in paper. Nah, just me and wrote it. And cause them to be written in paper. So the Most High said, I'm going to give you words that I want you to write down in this book. Right? Read. For they are faithful and true. They are what? For they are faithful and true. So these words that the Most High put in this book, they are faithful and true. That's why I said in Isaiah 34 and 16, none of these shall fail. Right? The Lord put a stamp on it. I'm going to run with it. I don't know about nobody else, I'm gonna run with it. Right? Fear not the imagination against thee. Uh-huh. Let not the incredulity incredulity of them trouble thee. So he said, don't let the incredulity, which means the unbelief, of them trouble you. Right? Go ahead. That speak against thee. That do what? That speak, speak against, against thee. Give me Acts 4 and 29. Acts 4, verse 29. I know, Lord, behold. Their threatenings and grant unto thy servant. The what? And grant unto thy servant. He said their threatenings and their grunts unto thy servants. Right? Why? Because when they, we come out here, give me that um in Amos 5 and 11, I think. Right? Because they, they, they literally they literally hate when you come out here and you speak the truth. Right? Five and ten. Huh? Five and ten? Five and ten. It was five and ten? Yeah. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, and verse 10. Bring it out. They hate him that rebuke him in the gate. Uh -huh. And they abhor him that speak uprightly. This is why he said don't worry about the incredulity of them. 
because they're going to hate you when you're speaking the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Most High. Right? What do they say? They say light has come into the world, right? But men hate light. They love darkness because their deed was evil. Right? Roughly paraphrasing. Right? So they're going to hate you. Don't worry about it. That's why the Most High said what? He said, I have made your forehead strong against their forehead. You understand? Why? Because all you could do is just literally put your knowledge up against their knowledge. And the, and the knowledge of the Most High will always win. Uh, right? That's right. And this is what I wanted to bring out. Give me um, give me Sirach real quick. This is what I this is what I was holding, I was holding for the brother before he walked off. Give me Sirach 17 and start it from the top. Cause he like knowledge, we need knowledge, we need this, we need that, right? 17 what? 17 from the top. Right? In the book of Zirach, chapter 17 and verse 1, uh -huh. the Lord created man of the earth uh -huh. and turned him into it again. Uh -huh. He gave them few days in a short time Go ahead. and power also over the things therein. So this is what this is what the brother was going into with the dude. He said, listen, it's going to come a time when the Most High come back, right? And if you're not in his will, you basically going to get destroyed right along with your enemies, right? But he kept talking about knowledge and knowledge and knowledge. Then the brother brought out a precept that says what? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's right. Why is the fear of the Lord the beginning of wisdom? Keep reading, King. Verse 3. He in, he, he in doing ended. Oh, yeah. He ended them with strength uh -huh. by themselves Go ahead. and made them according to his image. Uh huh. And put the fear of man upon all flesh. Uh huh. And gave his dominion. Dominion. Over beasts. He gave us dominion. He gave beast. his dominion over beasts and, and fowls. And this is this is this is this is basically going to tell the story of Adam and Eve, right? Because Adam had to name all the animals. We had dominion over all the animals, right? One of the curses is literally that he's gonna send the beast, right? And we're gonna we gonna either we gonna literally die by beasts, right? That's why our people don't mess with beasts. That's that's that comes from years of trauma of getting 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 slaughtered. Keep going, check this out. Verse 5. Uh huh. They received the use of the five operations of the Lord. Now, what's the five operations of the Lord? It's your five senses, right? Go ahead. And in the sixth place, he imparted them understanding. And in the sixth, he placed them part of understanding. So, this is why he said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Because only the Lord can literally give you the understanding and the wisdom and the knowledge that he's. he's literally made you with right other than that you're like a brute beast that's why he say he imparted them five understanding i mean five the five functions of the most high because even even animals have the five functions of the most high they taste they see they smell they hear right but they don't do what they don't understand we understand but how do we understand we got to come back to the law statutes and commandments of the most high that's why i say wisdom knowledge and what Understanding shall be the stability of that time, right? That's it on that? Nah. Go ahead. And in the seven, speech. Uh huh. An interpreter of co connotation. Connotation. Connotation thereof. So he say, and in the seven, speech and the wisdom of how to think about it, right? Because that's what connotation is. Con connotation is, is your thought process, right? But we can go back. Because I just wanted to make that point. Because the brother. The brother kept saying, knowledge, knowledge, and knowledge, right? But the, I'm going to give the brother kudos. The brother, the brother said something that was, that was pivotal. He said, anytime we speak truth, they want to shut us up, right? But I don't, I don't see nobody coming out here to shut us up. They'll do that to somebody who they did what? They parted their money to. That's why the Lord say, you can't serve two mountains. <coughs> Either you're going to love one or you're going to hate the other, right? So right now, what they're saying is like, yo, these niggas are unruly. They don't give a hell. They don't give a care about our money, right? And that's the spirit of the Most High moving on them brothers. And I say all praise to the Most High, right? Give me uh, Hebrews 13 and 6. That we may what? That we may boldly say, the, the Lord, Lord is, is my, my helper. helper. So he said, we may boldly say, right? 
that the most high is our helper. Go ahead. Salaki, and would not fear what man shall do unto me. The what? And would not fear what man shall do unto me. So no man, we won't, we won't fear what man can do to us. Right? With the spirit of the most high, nobody can do nothing to us, man. Right? We can stand up here boldly. You know? You understand? And we would not we would not be moved. Right? We could literally stand up here for hours on end in the brick cold weather, right? Fingers numb, feet feet numb, ankles hurting, knees hurting, but we won't be moved. We're gonna stand on the word of the most high, right? And I don't see these elites pulling up saying, oh, y'all better shut it up. It's gonna come a time where they use the, the Air Force, the military and all that. Hey, but we ready for it. We signed up for this. You understand? That's why he say endure hardship as a good soldier, right? We literally signed up for this war. When we first say, you know what? I want to be WFI. When we first say, you know what? I'm, I'm down for the truth. Give me give me Sirach 2 and 1. When we said, you know, I'm down for the truth. I'm riding with you, Most High. The Most High already had in his mind to hit you with this, right? Give me that, Sirach 2 and 1. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it up. My son. If thou come to serve the Lord, what the Lord said, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, go ahead. prepare thy soul for temptation. So the Most High already warned you. He said, prepare yourself for these temptations that's gonna come, right? Why? Because you're literally walking against the current. The current of the wood, the river is flowing this way in America. We're walking this way. We're we're stepping, stepping, planting, trying to get through this water going this way. We're literally going against the course, right? So therefore, you're going to have adversaries come, right? And all these adversaries, they're just going to keep coming. And we're just going to do what? We're going to keep going for the Lord. You understand? Go on, go on. Read on. Verse 2. Uh-huh. Set thy heart upright and constantly endure. And what? And constantly, constantly endure. endure. And what? And constantly, constantly endure. endure. We got to constantly endure this thing. Notice he didn't just say endure that one, that one trial, that one tribulation. No, he said constantly endure. Why? Because once that one trial is done, it's another one that I got to bring to you. Then it's another one that I got to bring to you. Why? Because it's just like, it's like a rubber band, right? It's like, it's like a muscle, actually. It's like a muscle. You're doing curls. You're doing curls, right? You put, the you put it down, your muscles start hurting. Why? Because your muscles are tore just to grow bigger, right? And after a few days, what happens? It stops being sore, right? So now it's comfortable again. The most high don't want you to be comfortable. Right? The Most High wants you to continue to endure these things and get stronger and stronger. Right? So that your faith won't fail in that day when stuff happens. Right? Read on. And make not haste in time of trouble. And make not what? And make, make not, not haste, haste in time, time of trouble. trouble. And don't make haste in the time of trouble. But do what? Cleave unto Him. But what? Cleave unto Him. But hold on to the skirts of the Most High. Right? And abide in the shadow of the Almighty. You understand? Read on. And depart not away. Uh huh. That thou mayest be increased in the last end. That thou mayest be what? That thou mayest be increased in these last days. And that's what it's all about. We gotta increase ourselves. That's right. Right? Increase ourselves in what? The knowledge, the understanding, everything that He imparts into us. Right? Hey, brother, you believe in God? You gotta repent and keep the commandments. All right. Go ahead, what did I do? Yeah, give me give me Proverbs 28 and 1. 28? Yeah, 28 and 1. That's right. I thought I said 20 and 1. Oh, you say step over. Alright. Proverbs. Proverbs 28 and 1. Chapter 28. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 28 and 1. Come to Go ahead. Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 1. Bring it up. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, uh -huh. but the righteous, but the who? But but the the righteous right. are bold oh, as a lawyer. Lord. That's why we come out here boldly. And that's why our forefathers said what? Stand boldly for the word of the Lord. Uh. Why? Because that's what makes you righteous. If we sitting up here and we're, we're, we're judging a matter, we're literally saying, listen, you got to have your fringes on. Be not thou a hypocrite. 
Like you have your fringes on, you could correct somebody and be like, yo, you need your fringes on, right? As long as you're standing boldly for the word of the Lord, yo, you ain't gotta worry about it. The most high, he gonna back you up in all things. And I had to learn that, you know what I mean? Every brother had to learn that when we came into this. You think, you think we ever trusted when we was out in the world? That's why brothers, brothers sat right there so dope or whatever. What's your nationality? Your nationality? Dominican. Dominican? Yeah. Huh? Your father? Your father Dominican? Yeah. Oh, great. So what, do, what does the term Dominican mean? What does that name mean? All right, so Dominican, right? You break it down, Dami means God. Canaan means dog. So a dog of God. Are you a dog, brother? Nah, you're not a dog. Yeah. Right? So we're out here telling our brothers and, and, and our sisters and the childs of the blacks, Hispanics, and the so-called Native American Seminole Indians that we are the people of the book. Our nationality has been stripped from us, yeah. and they gave us the terms that they wanted to put on us, right? Give me, um, go to 28, right? Good about 28 and, and 47 real quick. Talk, talk to him over there. I, I, I don't want I don't want to interrupt you guys' stuff, but the people inside of Beth Body Works are complaining about the smoke. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to bother you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Twenty-eight and forty-seven. Let me show you something that the Most High said that's going to happen to the people that was over here. Cause what was, what was y'all before y'all was Dominican? You ever heard of like the Tainos? Tainos, yeah. Like and, and what else? Uh, the Incas, the Mayans, yeah. like all these different, these different. Yeah. The people that was over here already, what happened to them? I don't know. Probably the flood. No, 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 no. You ever, you ever heard of Christopher Columbus? Christopher Columbus, no. Oh, he destroyed the whole Indian stuff. So. Yeah, so-called Indians. Yeah, I say so-called because Indian means savage. They, they didn't even call themselves savages. You understand? Those are the names that was placed on it. Let me show you who they are. Give me that. Um, a nation from afar. And then 28, 47. 28, 40. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. 47 or what? Yeah. What is it? No, 49, 49. 49. Good, check this out. Yeah, that's is that it? Start from 45. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 49. Read it out. Start from 45. Start from 45? Oh. Yeah. Listen to this. This is a close one. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 45. Uh -huh. Read up. Moreover, all these curses. All these what? All, all these, these curses. curses. Read up. Shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. So the Most High have the chosen people, right, upon the earth. And he said, I chose you and I gave you law, statutes, and commandments. Now, if you don't hearken or listen to me, what I'm saying to do, then I got to put these curses upon you. I already placed my love upon you, not because of something you did. I just loved you. You understand? So if you disobey me, I got to put these curses on you. Read on. And overtake thee. Uh huh. To thou be destroyed. Go ahead. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh huh. To keep his commandments. To do what? To, to keep, keep his, his commandments. Read on. And his statutes, which I command you this day. Uh huh. And they should be as and they should be upon thee for a sign so and for a wonder. So they say these curses gonna be upon his people for a sign. What does a sign do? Like how do we know that's PC Richard's son? Sign. So sign is sign. Big plane. You think there's a plane right there? That's, that's kind of awesome. Yeah. Let me, 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 let me. I go with the money. Look, look how slow a plane. That plane, all right, all right. Yeah, look, check this out. He said the curse is going to be upon you for a sign, right? And for a wonder. To make you think, like, why am I calling myself a dog of God? I ain't a dog, right? Go ahead. And upon thy seed forever. And a what? And, and upon, upon thy, thy seed, seed forever. forever. So even in 2022, these 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 um curses gonna be active to still show you who the chosen of God is, right? Read on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with <coughs> gladness of heart. Uh-huh. For the uh, for the abundance. obedience. Abundance. I mean for the abundance of all things. Uh-huh. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. Uh-huh. And then we serve our enemies? Do we have to serve our enemy? Yeah. Yeah. Right? They had y'all in the gold mine. Y'all are bringing up gold and chop your hand up. 
They had my people in the cotton field. The sugar cane field, the tobacco field, right? Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh-huh. In hunger. In what? In, in hunger. hunger. So when we're hungry, who do we got to go to? Who own everything? God. Huh? When we hungry. Like yeah, when we, when we hungry, who we got to go to into this society? Who owns the, the buildings and stuff? You can say it, bro. Nation. All right. You can Supposedly, say it. Supposedly, the, the, the Jews that... Yeah, you're right. They're not Jews, man. They, 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 they not what? They, they, they're, what? Not, they're not Jews, man. Uh, uh, you're right. I'm a Jew. You a Jew. I'm a Jew. Listen, I'm going to break it down. Can I break it down? All right. Jesus was black. Yeah. Jesus was black. And these Jews are Europeans. Oh, they, they're, Caucasian. They're, they're Caucasians. Uh, Caucasians, I don't know if they, their bloodline is of uh, Esau. Esau? Mm -hmm. And, and straight up. Yeah, you guys are really Jews. Yeah. These guys are corrupt. Yeah, we did, we Jews and y'all Israelites. Yeah, that's crazy how they do that shit. And everybody's waking up. That's why God. It's raining. And this is why I'm trying to help you out, brother. I just, came out, I just came out of church, man. You came out of what? I came out of church. I, my church is right there. You know, you know what they, church? What they teach you in church? In church? They taught you you're you, you, you the people of the book? Oh, huh? they don't go deep like that. But you, know, you know why they can't go deep like that? Yeah, because controversy. It's a 501c3. That's right. That means they get the whole, they get to keep their money. Like, they don't got to pay taxes on their money. But they can't teach you certain stuff. Right. They can teach you you are a Gentile. They can't teach you you are the people of the book. That's right. You understand? You can the, thing, the things that I'm putting, I'm telling you right now, they were never going to Deuteronomy 28 to tell you these things. That's right. Right? Keep reading. 501 C3. It's going to come up tax exempt. The tax exempt. For churches. Right. Read on. <laughs> and in thirst, uh -huh. and in nakedness, and in one of all things. So he say, these people, you're going to have to serve in everything. When you're hungry, when you're thirsty, when you when you need clothes on your ass. Yo, we, my people picked all the cotton. Why we got to pay for clothes? You know what I'm saying? And he say, in a want of all things. Say you wanted to go back to DR. What you need in order to, to leave here? No, no, no. What is that paper? A uh, passport. You need a passport. I call it a permission slip. Permission slip? Yeah. yeah. You need a permission slip to go back to your to your so-called spot. <laughs> we the brand new slaves. Huh? We the brand new slaves. No, we the, we the, the slaves of old. I'm going to show you. Keep reading. Listen. And he shall put a yoke of iron. A what? A yoke, a yoke of, of iron. iron. Upon thy neck. So he say this he he's gonna put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, right? What a, what a post that? Yeah, look at it. You see these yokes of iron? They had those on, on my people. They had them on your people. If you Google yokes of iron, you'll only see the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American similar Indians with, with the yoke of iron on the neck. Yeah, go ahead. We don't. So. Until, until he had destroyed thee. Uh huh. Keep going. Yeah. Well, um, keep reading. Verse forty nine. Uh huh. You know, the Lord shall bring thee. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee. So this is right here. This is the prophecy of Christopher Columbus. You hear me? Listen. Read it again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. From far. From the end of the earth. From the end of the earth. Now y'all was over here. How far is Europe from here? It's back to the end of the end of the earth. Yeah. Read. As swift as the eagle's flight. As swift as what? As, as swift, swift as, as the eagle's eagle flight. flight. Then they come bearing that, that sign right here. That flag right there. Yeah. Down at the bottom. What is, what is that animal on that flag? It's an eagle. Read that part again. As swift as the eagle's flight. He said they're going to come from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flight. Now he's putting it in the dark sand, a similar to an allegory. You understand? Because if you just said, oh, uh, the Spaniards are going to come and conquer the Tainos, the daughter of this and that, they would have got this book and they would have burned it. That's so right. the Lord has to speak in code and different code. language. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's showing you that flag. Right? Read on. Look at this. Look. The brother, brother put it up. All of the white nations. That's 
Right. All of the white nations, they use the eagle. So he said that these people, they use the eagle, and I'm gonna send them against you. What's on the dollar bill? Yeah, what's on the dollar bill? Oh, it's an eagle. Yeah. Have you guys folded the money? Yeah. I see. I see some of that. A, a nation who's tough. Thou shalt not understand. Now, when they came over here, you didn't. They didn't understand their language, cause y'all was speaking the Paleo Hebrew. You understand? Go go to waste, man. <coughs> Read. A nation of mere continents, uh -huh. which shall not regard the person of the old, uh -huh. nor show favor to, to the young. young. Now, if you look at these posters, you got some where they dashing the little babies, right? You look right here, this is an elder with his back beat in. They didn't regard the person of old, nor show favor to the young. The Lord's talking about a certain people, right? And he's talking to his people, saying that these things was gonna happen to them, right? So who is God talking to right now? Moses is using God to talk to a certain group of people. So who so so who is he talking to though? I have no idea, man, because I'm taking people. So if, if this if this nigga just spoke about Christopher Columbus. So who is who is he talking to right here? He's talking about your forefathers. Your forefathers. Because then Christopher Columbus come and take conquer your forefathers? Yeah, in my country, yeah, the medical public, yeah, they he came in and separated something with Haiti, some some shit Haiti. Like Espanola. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I want to know that chapter. That's Deuteronomy, chapter 28. The old chapter. Yeah, Deuteronomy 28. You got the Bible on your phone? Can I, can I take a picture? Yeah. Okay, so we can look this. The, it's 28, 49. Deuteronomy 28 and 49. Exactly. <laughs> Right, don't get kicked out. Get it right here. Get it right here. And throw them down. Yeah, there it is, right up. You guys have a website? Yeah. The brother right here, you got a flyer. Right? This is Spanish. You speak, you speak Spanish better or yeah. English? I speak Spanish too. You speak Spanish yeah. better? For sure. It's English. English? It's a YouTube channel right here. It's more of the literature, same thing that like the brother was saying. Some more back here as well. Yeah. yeah. This one, yeah, so, you know, you yeah, you can take a picture of it so it can be in one just in case you lose. Be ready for the Hey, <laughs> let me show you something though. You're not, you're not, you're not a Dominican. This would be your God given that show. That's right. Simmy. Who's on that same, who's on the same island as y'all? The Haitians. The Haitians, right? Yeah. Give me, um. I got it. You got it? 4095? Yeah, listen to this. This just this is the book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 5. Uh -huh. no. Simeon and Levi. Who? Simeon, Simeon and, and Levi. Levi. So Simeon is the so-called Dominican. And Levi, so-called Haitians. Our brothers, uh -huh. instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. And the instruments of cruelty that's in their habitation is what? The so-called voodoo and, and centamia. Yeah. Right? Because both of them do that. But it says Simeon and Levi are brothers. Why? Because they dwell close together. Literally, they dwell close together. I have a, I have a crazy question. Go ahead. Do you believe that, that the Jewish uh, Holocaust happened? Even if it did, not that many people, not, not that many people died. Because it wasn't number a million of them at that time, I think. So how, how 600, six, six, six million of them died? You know, you know these these are the things that they give me Psalms 58 and three real quick. 58 and three. Yeah, give me Psalms 58 and three. Give me Psalms 50. The book of Psalms is the 58 and verse three. The wicked are estranged from the womb. So God said these people from the womb they are strange. Go ahead. They go astray uh -huh. as soon as they be born. Speaking lies. Speaking lies. Speaking lies. This is what God said about it. They are strange from the womb. They go forth as soon as they be born. Speaking lies. Go ahead. That's right. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Uh huh. They are like the death adder that stopped her ear. Huh. 
We can, we can rest right now. Brain is out. 50 and 60. Yeah, 50, 50 and 16. Listen to this. Cause they, they, they sit there, they sit there with the, the so-called, uh, yeah. You can talk about yeah, it. Look, check it out. <laughs> so 50 uh -huh. verse 16. Go ahead. Yeah. But unto the wicked. But unto who? But unto, unto the, the wicked. wicked. And who is God? The, flocking, flocking. Who is the wicked? Who is the wicked? According to God. Let me show you this. Give me Job. 924. Okay. Cause Job gonna tell you who the wicked is. Look at this. Who they say this man is? That's, that's Jesus. They, they say that's Jesus, right? Yeah. Listen to this verse. This is the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. Bring it out. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. So they say the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? Go ahead. He cover the faces of the judges thereof. He do what? He cover, cover the, the faces, faces of the, the judges, judges thereof. thereof. When you say this is the ultimate judge, no, no, I'm saying yeah. Jesus is supposed to be the ultimate judge. He said they covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the ultimate face of the judge into a white man. So who is the wicked according to the Bible? The so-called white man, right? That's easy to prove. Go ahead. If not, where and who is and he? And God said, if you disagree with me, you got to show me somebody more wicked than his ass, right? Finish that out. Read, read it again. It'll be a big war. Psalm 50, verse 16. Bring it out. But unto the wicked, but unto God, the wicked go ahead. God said, What hast thou to do with to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. So God said, What do you do? What do you have to do to take my statutes, which is the Bible, right? Or my covenants, the new or the old in your mouth. He said, what are you doing quoting anything in this Bible? Why? Because he's not dealing with them. Read that. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. Bring it out. No. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Who works more harder or in more trouble in this earth than the so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans? Nobody. We work the hardest, but we get we get we get we get oppressed the most. Right? Go ahead. But thou art rich. And why he said, but we're rich? Because the kingdom is promised to us. We have, we always rich in faith. You're gonna always find our people worshiping. Some people, we, we, we go all worshiping other things because we've been taught that way. You know what I'm saying? Read. And I know the blasphemy the of- The what? The blasphemy. blasphemy. You know what blasphemy is? Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a dirty, filthy lie yeah. that's punishable by death. So God said, I know the blasphemy of what? Of them uh -huh. which say they are Jews. Jews. Which what? Which, which say, say they, they are Jews. Jews. And what? And, and are not. not. And are what? And, and are, are not. not. And are what? And, and are, are not. not. And you wonder why they say they don't believe in the New Testament? That's why. Yeah. Now give me three or nine. No, it gets better. It gets, it gets much better than that. Give me Daniel, hold up, hold up. Give me Daniel 17 and 8. I mean 7 and 18. No, no. You got, what do it? Yeah, yeah, finish that out real quick. Hold up, listen. But are the synagogue of Satan. He said, but they are the synagogue of Satan. What do, what do people do in the synagogue? They worship, right? He said, this is the worship house of Satan. They worship Satan. It's a famous Jewish quote. It's a Jewish dude. It's a Jewish dude that says, uh, what's that quote? You got it? Yeah. This, this is to what the, what the Jewish dude say. I'm, I'm, why he getting that? You got Daniel 7 and 18? And look at the symbols, man. Everything talks, symbols, everything. Like look at the Yeah. Yeah. But that's the thing. They 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 do these things to keep. We call it the rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, they call it the rabbit hole because when you when you seeking knowledge, we go into a lot of things. You know, but the most high tells you to to live. Give me Isaiah 34 16 again. Bring it up, bring it up. Oh, listen to this. Because see, our people, we love, we, we seek knowledge, but we don't seek the right knowledge. You understand? Read that. There's the book of Isaiah, chapter 30. What, you said 34? Yeah, 34 and 16. 34 and 16. Bring it up. Go. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. And do what? And read. He say, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. See, we, we put our mind to all these different things 
we put our mind to all these different things and what? We, we, we go and we keep going down the rabbit hole, then we end up somewhere left. You know what I'm saying? One last question. Go ahead. Do you know the, the regulations? It says 1,000 something. 144. 144,000? Is, is that like... That's the government body. You know how you know how you have... Uh, yeah, because it's very... <laughs> nah, it's just the government body, right? Yeah. So Yahweh Shai, who they call it, they, it, the word ignorant called Jesus Christ. There was no letter J, there's no vowel signs in the uh, vowel sounds in the Paleo Hebrew. His name is Yahweh Shai. The most high name is Yahweh. Yeah. Right? So when he come back, he gonna have the government body with him, right? But then you have the one third, which is the numerable multitude. That uh, as you see in the second episode, you understand? So it's it's more than the 144. You know what's so crazy? These people are freaking the channel of the earth. This is how much people are. Uh, uh, so are you gonna go to heaven? But like how much people? You need that? Nah, they can't. They can't say that. The Bible. The Bible says. The Bible says it's a numerable multitude which no man can number. Uh, number. 119. Uh, 157. Two one six. 119? Yeah, 119, 157, please, 160. Okay. If you, if, you, if you got any more questions, just just hold up right here. My brother gonna come up next, all right? And okay. he can further edify you, all right? What? Start at 157? Yeah. Okay, come on. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119. Yep. And verse 157. Bring it up. Many are my prosecutors uh -huh. and my enemies. Go ahead. Yet do I not decline from thy testimony? So yeah, we got many persecutors, we got many enemies, but we're gonna keep speaking the most high words, right? Go ahead. I behold the transgressions and was grieved. So we behold the transgressions of our people and we're, and we're grieved at it, right? Some of us sigh and cry for the abomination that goes on to the nations, grieved. Because they kept not my word. Uh -huh. Consider how I love thee, precepts, Salakia. Consider how I love thy precepts, Quicken me, O oh Lord. What? Quicken me, O oh Lord. Read. According to thy loving kindness, thy word is true from the beginning. And everyone that righteous judgment. That what? And everyone that. Of, uh, and everyone of thy righteous judgment. Read it again. And everyone of thy righteous judgment. What is Esau falling? And everyone of thy righteous judgment. What is this kingdom falling? And everyone of thy righteous judgment. What is about the Africans? And everyone of thy righteous judgment. And Arabs. And everyone of thy righteous judgment. And putting us back on top. And everyone of thy righteous judgment. Read. Endure forever. How long? Endure forever. How long? Endure forever. And with that, come yourself. Come yourself. Come yourself. Come yourself. Come yourself. Come yourself.